Introduction to NGO Zero Waste Malaysia Zero Waste Malaysia is a non-profit organization that was established in 2016 and is listed in the Registry of Societies of Malaysia. A non-profit organization called Zero Waste Malaysia is committed to supporting and pushing for a zero waste way of living in Malaysia. The organization is motivated by the conviction that waste reduction is essential for preserving resources, safeguarding the environment, and building a future that is sustainable for the nation. They take pleasure in being a Malaysian community organization that promotes sustainable growth while working to raise knowledge of sustainable living among the local populace. Zero Waste Malaysia is a well-known environmentally friendly organization in Malaysia. A charitable organization called Zero Waste Malaysia seeks to advocate at seeks to advocate for and encourage a zero waste way of living in the nation. I will be presenting my part which is a description of the program such as date, location and number of attendees. Festival and gathering generates significant trash leading to landfills and greenhouse. Emissions Malaysia is lack of landfills contribute to this issue. Zero Waste Malaysia showcased sustainable event planning at the Under the Stars event attended by over 2,000 people and featuring 30 vendors Zero Waste Ecosystem Partner, 40 Malaysian Volunteer, and 80 Corporate Volunteer. Malaysian dump over 30,000 tons of plastic waste into the sea annually, making it difficult to achieve the zero single-use plastic target. Kuala Lumpur alone generated 40,000 tons of domestic waste, with the single-use plastic bags being the majority. Zero Waste Malaysia's ZWM and Bursa Malaysia launched the interactive website Trashpedia in April 2022 introducing 101 household waste items. The campaign aims to raise awareness about the garbage in Malaysia with 391 registered participation, 35 volunteer. Next, we move to the objective of the programs. A Zero Waste Festival celebrates sustainable living by showcasing everyday zero waste action, empowering Malaysian to live sustainably one step at the one time. Next, the celebration honors Zero Waste is the release of Malaysia's first waste encyclopedia, promoting a zero waste future, collaborating with the groups. The event aims to commemorate the resources publication and inform attendants about its practical applicants, VIPs from Busa Malaysia, Johnson Controls, and YB Tuan Rajiv Dish Yakaran attended, fostering a positive reception. Methods of implementation. The first one is Zero Waste Festival under the star. A Zero Waste Festival aims to promote the joy of sustainable living by showcasing typical zero waste behavior. The festival, which took place at Taylor University Lakeside Campus, demonstrates how huge people might still be concerned about the environment. The event will not utilize any single-use plastic item in an effort to reduce its environmental impact on Malaysia. Participants are asked to bring their own reusable container to purchase anything. A few of the low waste activity available at Under the Star Festival were a vegan cooking class, six screen printing, hair braiding and many more. The group most recent resource, Trashpedia, an encyclopedia of trash with information on garbage, segregation and zero waste alternative was used as the basis for games that zero waste measure run as well as a free workshop that was organized. An analog projectionist, Luna Makula, provided festival goers with a trippy liquid light display after the sun had set. Secondly, the launch of Nature First Trashpedia. Trashpedia is a portal that offers one-click, one-stop solution that educates nature about rubbish segregation while also offering zero-waste option appropriate to the nation. The celebration is in appreciation of zero-waste publishing of Nature First Waste Encyclopedia. 
Zero Waste Measure introduced Trashpedia, the first complete online trash encyclopedia in Malaysia as the first physical event after the lockdown. The struggle of the tiger to live as a result of habitat devastation is symbolized by this sculpture of translucent tiger. This sculpture of translucent tiger serves a metaphor for the tiger's existence as it fights for survival in the face of habitat degradation. CO2 carbon dioxide from MOA, a local artist duo, produced the piece. The hashtag Bersama Kita Zero Waste and My Trashpedia were used in online social media campaign that urged user to snap picture with the tiger. Next, I will continue with equipment or material use. Only shopping has become more convenient and affordable, but it also comes with its own cost. In China, plastic waste production increased ninefold in just two years, with 10,000 tons of packaging waste produced by online retail in the US in 2018. The minus zero waste store in Johor Bahru is addressing the issue by offering a zero waste retail outlet. The store offers two delivery options, recycled cardboard boxes for order within Johor Bahru and one the activated paper tape for orders outside. Myanmar's uses recycled and repurposed materials in all packaging and solicit donation from clients and followers on social media for extra boxes. By collecting potential waste on customers and providing value to them, minus zero waste store has a positive environmental impact. Malaysia could adopt similar practices to reduce plastic waste in China by increasing online delivery orders and adopting the minus zero waste store's approach. In addition, I will move on to activities to follow. The first one is under the Star Zero Waste Festival. In July, the event planning team began to low waste festival with workshops and vehicle as you love, upcycling crochet, DIY bed booms and embroidery with all shades. The event featured a variety of vendors including food and beverages establishments, zero waste shops, upcycling homemakers and educational booths. To attract Malaysian anti sustainable practice, the event included non-zero waste vendors. The event also featured a unique hair braiding experience using leftover fabric scraps, collaborating with Coco Dry, and the team successfully avoided 1,600 single use plastic bags, brought in 80 broken items, and collected 50 kg of recyclable materials. The second one is celebrating the launch of Malaysia's first trash encyclopedia, Zero Waste Special, held its first physical event since the pandemic, launching 101 household trash item on the trash encyclopedia. A 3 meter tall tiger art installation was unveiled, featuring local artists to CO2 carbon dioxide, the last pride of tiger. The event featured interacting both Hashtag Zero Waste Goods and Panel Discussion, sponsored Johnson Controls and Blue Foundation, as well as special guests as Ravi Riyash Karet and Sharifah Sofia participated. The event also featured a game session called Trash Stack, where the participants built the tallest tower out of a pile of trash. Moreover, I will keep going with operators or facilitators involved. There are Blue Foundation, Muji, Petronas, Ais Langor, and Maven that being part of the operators and facilitators involved Zero Waste Malaysia, Malaysia's largest environmental community group, collaborates with community and groups to make Zero Waste accessible. With over 40,000 members, they aim to combat climate change and promote sustainable living. By collaborating with ZWL, companies can set an example for sustainable workplace design, contribute to climate change and advance Malaysia's goals of becoming a waste-free nation. Contribution of the program to sustainable development to local people, global and environment. For people, awareness and education. Among the Zero Waste Malaysia organization contribution to the local community is in terms of raising awareness and education. In fact, educational activities play a significant role in many programmers aim at managing resources and sustainable growth. With better understanding and abilities, community members will be at will be better equipped to engage in environmentally friendly practices and make knowledgeable decisions about how to manage resources. Building a better understanding of environmental challenge, including global warming, decreasing biodiversity, and water shortage through educational efforts. These programmers help people to comprehend the significance of sustainable practices and their influence on local on local environments and lifestyle by disseminating knowledge and fostering understanding. For the globalization to take care of sustainable resource management. For its contribution to globalization, Zero Waste Malaysia emphasizes the sustainable management of resources. In fact, fostering ethical manufacturing and consumption habits depend 
heavily on sustainable utilization of resources. By using this strategy, they want to conserve resource, generate less trash, and preserve the natural world. The goal of environmentally friendly resource management is to utilize resources as efficiently as possible. This entails lowering waste and streamlining procedures to reduce resource usage. We can ease the burden on scarce resources by applying strategies like reuse and recycling and introducing cleaner industrial processes. And the last one is to environment promoting sustainable consumption. The last contribution is for the environment from the aspect of promoting sustainable consumption. To achieve sustainability objective and protect resources for the next generation, it is essential to promote responsible consumption and production practice. We can minimize waste, lessen resource depletion, and lessen the environmental effects of the production and utilization of product and services by implementing effective resource use techniques. By utilizing reduced waste and recycle programmers, garbage can be kept out of landfill and valuable commodities may be recovered and reused. We can minimize the demand for extracting new resources and low environmental contamination by promoting appropriate waste handling and recycling technology. Now we move to suggestion for improvement of the program. Zero Waste Malaysia can expand and strengthen effort to improve and promote sustainable living in Malaysia if there is a suggestion for improvement of the program. Among the suggestions for improvement of the program that can be implemented is to carry out research and development R&D. The development of techniques and technology to reduce the rate of solid waste production at the source level can be the focus of this research and development. R&D is carried out to ensure that every program that will be implemented in the future then can be a give benefit to the community as well as the environment. The next suggestion is to choose a more strategic place or area to implement a program. This is because the selection of the strategic venue is very important, especially for a program that targets the public. In addition, the selection of places located in districts, such as urban areas and educational areas, such as schools and universities, can have the opportunity to convey the purpose of this program and provide a positive impact on the targeted community. Furthermore, improving the feeling of the program is one of the important aspects of improving Zero Waste Malaysia program in the future. Among the best improvement steps for better feeling of the program is to increase the number of interesting activities that can be done in parallel with the goals, which can improve and promote sustainable living in Malaysia. By providing educational and awareness to the community, we can provide knowledge about the importance of sustainable living, how to reduce solid waste and effective waste management. To sum up, Malaysia Zero Waste Program promotes sustainable living through educational material, commercial engagement and underground activity. The three pillars of the Zero Waste Movement are reducing what we need, reusing or recycling what we can. Zero Waste Malaysia helps the community in raising awareness and instructing the public. Living a zero waste lifestyle can result in cost saving as recycling and single use items are free. Malaysia has most of the necessary waste replacement, making it an ideal country for a zero waste lifestyle. Their corporate education program aims to educate industry about waste reduction, boosting both private and public sector. By adopting a zero waste lifestyle, we can significantly reduce our environmental impact and leave the earth in better shape for future generations. That's all for our presentation. Thank you.